हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिटर्डेशन प्लेट्स एंड इट्स टाइप्स एज हाफ वेब प्लेट एंड क्वार्टर वेब प्लेट लेट्स विगेन रिटर्डेशन प्लेट्स रिटर्डेशन प्लेट इज ए यूनिफॉर्म प्लेट that caught from a doubly refracting crystal example of doubly refracting crystal is your calcite crystal in which the phenomenon of double refraction occur that a doubly refracting crystal having the refracting face parallel to the optic axis optic axis is that axis in that of doubly refracting crystal where uh, the two refracted rays travel in same velocity in that of optic axis and is used to introduce given phase difference between ordinary and extraordinary ray let us consider uh, a calcite crystal this is a calcite crystal calcite crystal which one is doubly refracting crystal means when uh, an unpolarized wave is incident on that of calcite crystal then it is refracted into two rays one is e ray and another one is o ray e ray extraordinary ray o ray ordinary ray e ray does not obey the laws of refraction whereas o ray obey the law of refraction so retardation plate is such type of uh, uniform plate that caught from a doubly refracting crystal and that the doubly refracting crystal in such way that that refracting face is parallel to that of optic axis and the use of that uh, retardation plate is to introduce the phase difference between ordinary ray and extraordinary ray if we taken the unpolarized electromagnetic wave here is the unpolarized electromagnetic wave that ro represent the unpolarized uh, electromagnetic wave the component of e vector which is uh, parallel to that of uh, calcite crystal whereas uh, that dot represents the direction of uh, e vector which is perpendicular to that of calcite crystal now that uh, re doubly refracting uh, crystal used to that the uh, unpolarized electromagnetic wave to produce polarized electromagnetic waves in that of e ray it contain the components as uh, parallel uh, to that of uh, plane of that crystal and o ray contain the component perpendicular to that of plane of calcite crystal that's why we obtain polarized electromagnetic wave from that of unpolarized electromagnetic wave so it uh, splits the incident wave into two polarized waves and this uh, two polarized waves travel perpendicular to that uh, of plane at a different speed the speed of uh, o ray and the speed of uh, e ray are uh, different that's why there will be a path difference between e ray and uh, o ray as a result a phase retardation plate or we can say the phase retardation between the two waves is introduced when the wave pass through a certain thickness of the plates so that the thickness is responsible to show 
what be the path difference in between E ray and O ray. On that basis, we divide the retardation plate into two categories. One is half wave plate and another one is quarter wave plate. So, it is of two types. Two types. One half wave plate, second one quarter wave plate, quarter wave plate. On the basis of what be the path difference in between E ray and O ray? Why there will be a path difference due to the different. Uh, velocity of these uh, two different uh, rays. Next, come to the discussion of half wave flat, half wave flat. A half wave plate is a thin plate of doubly refracting crystal having a refracting phase which is caught parallel to the direction of optic axis, but the thickness of the plate is uh, such that it produces a phase difference of pi. Phase difference of pi means a path difference equal to lambda by 2 in between that E ray and O ray. As we say, there will be a relation between phase difference, phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference. So, if the phase difference between O ray and E ray is pi, then there will be path difference of lambda by 2. That is why such type of wave plate we call half wave plate, means the thickness of that of uh, retardation plate is such that it produces a path difference between E ray and O ray is lambda by 2, half of the wavelength of that of incident wave. Let us come to that mathematical part, what be the thickness of that uh, half wave plate. Let us consider calcite crystal for calcite crystal. What is calcite crystal? Calcite crystal is a negative uniaxial crystal that is an example of negative uniaxial crystal, negative uniaxial crystal. For that of calcite crystal, the path difference between ordinary and uh, extraordinary wave, the path difference between E ray and O ray is equal to path difference B lambda by 2 that is why we call it as half wave plate. So, what be the path difference of these two rays? <coughs> the path followed by that E ray minus that the path followed by the O ray, the path difference in between E ray and O ray. In uh, that uh, calcite crystal, in case of calcite crystal, the refractive index of O ray is greater than the refractive index of E ray. That is why the path difference between these two rays as uh, mu naught t that is the path followed by O ray minus mu e t t with the thickness is equal to 
lambda by 2 whereas we say that t that is the thickness of such plate mu not refractive index of o ray and mu e refractive index of e ray therefore mu not minus mu e t common is equal to lambda by 2 so our requirement is the thickness so thickness is equal to lambda by 2 whole into mu not minus mu e that is the thickness of such retardation plates which is called half wave plate next example we can prefer for that of positive crystal similarly for quartz crystal quartz crystal what is quartz crystal that is the example of positive crystal positive uniaxial crystal a quartz crystal for that of quartz crystal similarly the thickness will be lambda divided by 2 whole into here mu e minus mu o as the refractive index of e ray is greater than the refractive index of o ray for that of positive crystal this will be the required thickness of such wave plate in order to categorize it as half wave plate ok next another type of wave plate that is quarter wave plate so the name indicate quarter means we have to produce the path difference between e ray and o ray will be lambda by fourth lambda is the wavelength of that of incident wave so a quarter wave plate is a thin plate of doubly refracting crystal having a refracting phase which is called parallel to the direction of optic axis in such a way that the thickness of the plate is such that it produces a path difference of phi by 2 sorry a phase difference of phi by 2 phase difference of phi by 2 means that is a path difference of lambda by 4 as there will be a relation between phase difference and path difference as phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda and path difference as uh, there will be a phase difference of pi by 2 that is why it is nothing but a path difference of lambda by 4 whereas lambda here we can uh, write it as lambda be the wavelength wavelength of incident wave wavelength of incident wave again for calcite crystal for calcite crystal which is an example of negative uniaxial crystal So here the path difference the path difference between E ray and O ray extraordinary ray and ordinary ray is equal to quarter of that of incident wavelength that is lambda by 4. So what will be the path difference in between E ray and O ray for that of uh, calcite crystal? For that of calcite crystal, the refractive index of O ray is greater than that of refractive index of E ray. So the path followed by that of O ray is mu naught into T, where T be the thickness, minus mu E into T is equal to lambda by 4. That's why T as common, so mu naught minus mu E T is equal to lambda by 4 or T is equal to lambda by 
फोर होल इंटू म्यू नॉट माइनस म्यू ई इस द रिक्वायर्ड थिकनेस टू आसिव क्वार्टर वेब फ्लेट फॉर दैट ऑफ कालसाइड क्रिस्टल सिमिलरली इट कैन बी रिटेन सिमिलरली फॉर क्वार्स Similarly, for quartz, T will be lambda divided by four into that is mu e minus mu naught. Here, refractive index for that of E ray is greater than that of refractive index of O ray. That will be the required thickness for that of quartz crystal to show the quarter wavelet. So here, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the idea of uh, retardation plates. Or we call it as phase retardation flares. What is uh, retardation flares? That is a plate which is uh, required to retard the phase difference, or we can say the path difference in between E ray and O ray. That E ray and O ray we show in case of doubly refracting crystal. It is of two types. One is half wave plate, another one is quarter wave plate. Half wave plate. The name indicate it is such type of retardation plate in order to showcase the path difference in between E ray and O ray is equal to half of that of incident wavelength. For that of uh, half wave plate, path difference lambda by two. For calcite crystal, that is the thickness. For quartz crystal, this one be the required thickness. Next for quarter wave plate, as the name indicate. The path difference between E and O ray, nothing but lambda by fourth. So for calcite crystal, that one be the expression. Next for quartz crystal, this one is the required expression. So it is useful and infinitely more. Let me wind up the session. Thank you.